What's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm Diana, creator of Money Boss Mama. And on this channel, I talk about all things money for the ladies. And this is going to be my first down payment. Scratch that. So this is going to be my first video, just sharing with you guys an update on my emergency fund. Since last update video, I shared with you that I had to use my emergency fund and I'm trying to get it back up to $10,000, hopefully a little bit more than $10,000 before I proceed to the next goal. And I am gonna share with you guys, I promise, what my next goal is. If you haven't watched my previous video about how I'm switching my goals, I'm gonna link it somewhere on the screen but I still have the same automatic contribution coming out from each paycheck. I use my day job to fund my goals right now. And I have 320 from each paycheck. I get paid bi-weekly. So $640 is automatically sent off into one of my ally buckets, whichever one I'm focusing on at the time. Right now is the emergency fund. And so 320 went into my ally savings this week because it's payday week but i also sold some pto in order to jumpstart this goal and get it knocked out and so i after paying for some other things i had 450 dollars left over i pulled a hundred dollars to my auto repair sinking fund it's for auto repairs and maintenance like oil changes if i need a new tire or anything like that this is the reason why i even had to restart on this goal because i got hit with auto repairs what i had in my sinking fund it was about 400 something dollars it was not enough and so i had to take from my emergency fund and so after taking out that hundred dollars that left me with 350 so i applied that 350 as extra to the 320 payment so that was 670 dollars total that i put into my emergency fund this pay period and that puts my total at eight thousand two hundred five dollars and seventy three cents so pretty close a little less than two thousand dollars left to get to the emergency fund now from my last down payment fund in my bucket i have a little over three thousand dollars and i think i just want to leave that there for the next goal that I, I have once i get this one knocked out so i'm just going to keep trucking with how they are divided out. The OCD in me kind of wants to pull over 2,000 just to get to 10,000 and then kind of start over on this new goal. I don't know, like what do you guys think? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. What do you guys think I should do? Like should I just take what I need from this bucket and put it in my emergency fund? and then start over with my new goal would that make more sense or am i just being anal i don't know this is just what happens personal finance is personal don't sit on it for too long but i do kind of want to wait until i post this video to see what you guys think before i do it and i'm probably going to do it whatever y'all say because it doesn't really matter to me um, either way but I have been getting requests for cash envelope stuffing so I am going to go back to stuffing my cash envelopes I use cash envelopes for my entertainment funds or personal funds my beauty budget um, as well as household for shampoo laundry detergent and things like that so I am about to switch it up turn the camera around so that you guys can see me stuff my cash envelopes and hope you enjoy all right guys so i will not lie i made a few transactions after i filmed the main uh video but i'm just going to be stuffing the remaining cash that i have into my cash envelopes um and then 
I'm going to share this new cash envelope that I have as well and how I'm going to be making change for that. But I typically just use cash for three main budget categories. That's for my fun or entertainment uh, funds. For household, that's going to be like soap, tissue, shampoo, things that you need um, for the home. And then Flex is my beauty budget, but I am actually not going to be giving myself anything for beauty this time around because I am behind on my goals. And so I'd have fun and household left. And I have, I'm just going to use this cash envelope for the new envelope that I will be making. But for household, I give myself $40 per paycheck, so $80 per month. And I'm going to go ahead and just use these two 20s to get that out of the way from last pay period. I did not come over or under anything, which I guess is good because I didn't come. At least I didn't come over budget. And for fun, I budget $120 per paycheck. So $240 per month. And this is not just for me. It's for me and both of my kids. And to be quite honest, we've been coming very close to being over budget. Um, that's because it's not necessarily because we're outside a lot more. It's just that everything has increased. Like, price has gone up inflation has increased um and so well not increased but inflation just has done its thing what it does inflate and i have six dollars from last paycheck left over i'm actually not gonna put it back into my fund uh, envelope but i will probably be increasing my fund funds from 120 to like at least 150 and I say that because if something's not really realistic and you're coming really 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 close like it's very tight in your budget it's very easy to get discouraged whenever you come over budget close to being over budget or you don't really have any excess left over and for me it's been very discouraging and that's because I know that it just does not work for us anymore I cannot keep dividing out $120 per three people every two weeks. It's just, it's way too tight for us. So we're gonna have to increase that. But I have $100 left over. I did, we did, did go out to eat a couple of times. So um, I just have two fifties. These envelopes are getting a little old, but I'll have a link down in the description where I purchased them from. They really did last me a long time. All right, so these two are done and out of the way. If I would have had my beauty budget included in this pay period, it would have been $30. And so what is left over? I want to include like a, a tithing, giving, uh, envelope for my paychecks. I do give 10% of everything that I earn through my business. I typically just make online donations, but I want to do the same for my paychecks as well. So I put aside $10 uh, per paycheck. Uh, bear with me. I know it's not exactly 10%, but I am just, I'm wanting to use my paychecks for like, you know, charity charitable causes not necessarily pouring into another church or something like that and so I want to be able to give to people that are like on the side of the road you know the panhandlers I know they get a bad reputation uh, because of a, a few people who are not being honest but I feel like that really sucks to have a few people really keep you from getting like some help that you need um, and you're actually being honest about needing help. So I want to do it in all one. So I did, I did have $20. I must have eaten it to be completely honest. Um, I did have $20, but you guys remember that I used to save all of my ones that I got back. So I actually have some fives in here too. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to put in at least $20. So this is going to be like for tips as well. Like if I go to Sonic or something, I can just give them ones. So I think I'm going to take 
at least a few ones out of here to make it $20. So I have $6 already. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So that makes it 20. I still have quite a bit in this envelope that I have. I am going to eventually get back to saving my ones. I did set some ones aside, but like since everything has been so expensive, I've just been using the ones. Like if it my total seven dollars i've just been using two dollars to make it seven dollars um since everyone's really wanting exact change right now and i don't think i have anything in here for those who get like super frustrated and stressed out when all of the um, bills are not facing the same way i am sorry but i do not have time for that so Here's to this new envelope specifically for giving like dollar tips here and there if I go out to eat and for people who are at the stoplight and they're like anything helps so my daughter's always asking if we can give them something and oftentimes I just have a 20 or whatever. All right, so that concludes this cash envelope stuffing section of the video. I am doing it for you guys who are like, please do cash envelope stuffing again. I'm gonna get back into it. I'm really gonna make sure I keep what I came under so you guys can see how I'm using it for the upcoming pay period. And I'm gonna get back into my singles challenge that is a promise but i feel like right now my singles are going to good use with what i plan to do with it but i will catch you guys in the next video